Hello, and welcome to another short box from Warhammer 40K's Grim History from the Beyond. I'm Zekthar. And I'm Yuxen. And on this very special bonus short, we'll be discussing the battle suits of the Tau Empire. Yes, unfortunately on our last box, we ran out of time, so we figured we would run through at least their most famous battle suits and ballistic suits. Well, let's start with the biggest battle suits in the Tau Empire, known as ballistic suits. The KV-128 Storm Surge is one such engine of war. It was the very first in this new breed of battle suits, in fact. It is a towering colossus of destruction. The KV-128 Storm Surge carries the firepower to annihilate whole columns of tanks or fell super heavy walkers with single earth-shaking volley. Developed by the noted Earthcast weapon scientist Fio Bork on Issue Rowan, the KV-128 Storm Surge. Um, pardon me, brother, but what was the creator of this machine again? The Fio, oh, you know, we'll just call him Ishu. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyways, the Storm Surges are massive bipedal weapon platforms that are an answer to the super heavy war engines of the Tau's foes. Ishu recognized that even heavy battle suits and aircraft such as the heavy railgun toting Tiger Shark AX 1 0 could be outgunned by the Imperium's Titan class combat walkers. Furthermore, when the enemy deployed their mightiest war machines in mass, as was the case during the War for Daleth and the Great War of Confederation, all the rail guns and Seeger missiles in the Empire could not prevent the firecast from sustaining heavy casualties. Ishu, however, had a solution. The pinpoint application of overwhelming force, aka massive overkill. Now, when Ishu created the KV-128 Storm Surge, it was his intention that it would not be fielded as a battlesuit. Armed with weapons on a scale more commonly seen on starships and with a host of secondary support systems, the storm surge was too cumbersome to be equipped with a jetpack, thereby excluding it from the style of fluid mobile warfare practiced by battlesuit teams. Instead, Ishu saw the storm surge as a walking tank that would support the main advance rather than lead it. An unsettled colossus, bristling with weapons that could be deployed against targets too large or too numerous to be tackled with conventional tactics. The difference between the ballistic suit and the battle suit are emphasized by the fact it has two crew, like a hammerhead gunship. The storm surge also requires so much power for its weapons that it has two reactors, one upgraded battle suit reactor and a high output slow charge reactor to power the main weapon systems. Each KV-128 is essentially an enormous walking gun tower whose purpose is to anchor the fire cast battle line, serving as a mobile strong point by laying down an insurmountable weight of covering fire. Most KV-128s are operated by a carefully selected pairing of veteran hammerhead crewmen who have graduated through the Ballistic Suit Academies on Borka. Although some KV-128s are piloted by veteran fire warriors with great experience commanding Tau battle suits or tanks. Working as a seamless team, the Shavari crew operate their towering suit, one piloting the storm surge while the other monitors, aims, and fires its weapon systems. In order to keep pace with the fluid strategies of the Tau military, Teams consisting of up to three ballistic suits are maglifted into battle beneath specifically modified Manta missile destroyers. As with Tau battle suits, KV-128 storm surges are constructed out of a lightweight yet strong nanocrystalline alloy called Fiotac, which is light, malleable, impact and corrosive resistant, reducing the weight of the ballistic suit whilst also providing excellent protection. Even the armor shape helps deflect solid projectiles while a reflective liquid metal coating can reflect medium-grade laser fire. As befits their size, storm surges are armed with a fearsome array of weapon systems. Most powerful of these is their single primary weapon system, 
either a pulse driver cannon or a pulse blast cannon. These weapons are some of the largest pulse weapons at the Tau's disposal, employing superheated plasma on a different scale altogether, leaving only glowing craters to mark their, where victims once stood. Whereas the pulse driver can utilizes pulse induction fields to propel huge bursts of plasma over great distances, the pulse blast cannon employs aggressive reactive charge technology to hyperaccelerate plasma into the enemy. Its shot disperses over a wider area the further away the target is. As a secondary weapon system, storm surges typically mount a set of twin-linked smart missile systems and a twin-linked set of either flamers, burst cannons, or air bursting fragmentation projectors. As well as these, they wield a cluster rocket system which can saturate enemy ranks with salvos of drone-guided warheads and four destroyer missiles, advanced form of the more common seeker missile piloted by an artificial intelligence targeting system. So they strike with millimetric precision. In order to further bolster their effectiveness in battle, the KV-128 storm surges are able to fit up to three scaled-up battlesuit support systems within their chassis. Examples of these support systems are advanced targeting system, early warning override, positional relay, shield generator, target lock, and velocity track. Now, ironically, these are not the biggest of the ballistic suits. <clears throat> In, indeed, Yuxin. Unfortunately, we're on more of a time crunch with these short boxes, and we really should talk about the most well-known battle suit, the XV-8. Very well. The stage is yours. Well, the XV-8 Crisis Battle Suit is the main stage general combat Tau battle suit utilized by the warriors of the firecast of the Tau Empire. It mounts a vast array of fearsome ranged weaponry as well as a complement of technologically advanced support systems on a comparatively small and agile frame that offers the Tau pilot within exceptional protection. Of all the weapon systems employed by the Tau, the XV-8 Crisis Battle Suit is easily the most distinctive and recognizable due to its reputation as an efficient and lethal weapon of war. The XV-8 Crisis Battle Suit strikes a perfect balance between offensive capabilities, armored protection, speed, maneuverability, and utility. It is a towering Tau battle suit, easily twice the size of the Fire Warrior who wears it. A wonder of Earth cast engineering, only the Tau could master the secrets of producing the dense nanocrystalline alloy that forms the thick protective armor of the XV 8. When it comes to deflecting and withstanding damage, the XV 8's armor is comparable to the ceramite used by the Imperium of Man's Space Marines, but weighs substantially less. Agile for its size, the XV-8 is extremely maneuverable as it mounts a jetpack with repulsory jet engines, another unique Earthcast invention that combines the functionality of a jet with anti-gravity technology. These powerful thrusters allow the XV-8 to vault battlefield obstacles and to make bounding leaps to gain advantageous firing positions or to avoid incoming shots. By firing off the jets to slow descent, it is possible for a warrior in an XV-8 crisis battle suit to make a combat drop, arriving to the battlefield suddenly by leaping from an airborne orca or Manta transport aircraft. While its protective armor and mobility are highly valued by the Tau, it is its ability of the XV-8 battle suit to carry multiple weapons and support systems that makes them so incredibly dangerous and versatile. Designed to compensate for the recoil of light weapons fire, the XV-8's weapon loadout can be easily altered to reflect mission requirements of the pilot's own personal preference. Additional upgrades from multi-tracker fire control systems to homing beacons or shield generators further enhance the fighting abilities of this impressive battlesuit. New technological improvements are made to the XV-8 Crisis battlesuit all the time, yet its core aspect remains iconic and unchanged. The XV-8 is the armored embodiment of the Tau Va, its inspirational image blazoned on the Tau propaganda holovids from Fioris to Fala Shah, and even upon the distant worlds of the Farsight Enclaves. To the Tau, the XV-8 crisis battlesuit is more than just a powerful weapon of war. It is also the foremost symbol of great achievement, honor, and reputation, a symbol of everything the Firecast stands for. Of ignorance and evil crushed by the potent combination of technological supremacy and martial skill. 
Although the XV-8 Crisis Battlesuit is by far the most commonly deployed battlesuit in the Tau Armory, only those fire warriors who prove themselves in battle earn the right to wear it and bear the name of Shazul, the first honored military rank that can pilot a Tau battlesuit. To do so is a great honor and means the fire warrior has passed his first trial by fire. After four Terran years of service on the line, this is the aspiration of every firecast warrior, recognition of the mastery of the code of fire and noble service to the greater good. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. Uh, join us next week as we begin our two-month deep dive into the Horus Heresy. Yes, and if you enjoyed this Vox, please like, follow, subscribe, and comment. Also, feel free to check out our new shop where you can get some merchandise from the channel. Well, that be it. Have a great day. And until next time. <clears throat> this is Ekthar. And Yuxen. Signing off.